What's the first thing you think of when I say basketball? They'll say Jordan. Based on just what Jordan was. How he played the game, his impact on the game, what he did in the game, and how he made people feel the way that he played the game. So that's why I just say Jordan is the GOAT. But I can understand people's arguments of LeBron. Let's talk. This is what I've always said, and maybe I'll explain it more. LeBron is the most talented basketball player of all time. I repeat, he is the most talented basketball player of all time. But he ain't the GOAT. He ain't the GOAT. But let me just first start with you know, the good stuff. Let's be real. When you look at his, him coming into the NBA, looking at his career, his longevity... Winning on three different teams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cavs, Lakers, and the Heat. I, I, I despise the Heat. And then you look at him. Brooks, do you know how long that points thing stood for? Like like Karim Abdul-Jabbar, that points thing stood for ages. So, for LeBron to break what has a record that has stood for... Because I've got... Okay. Maybe you guys tell me how long the record stood for. Ever since I've been watching basketball since the, the 90s. You always knew that that record was always non, non, non bonus. So and the notion was, will everyone break it? So the notion was like, no, it's going to be a long time since anyone breaks it. So for LeBron to do it, I think it's, it's, it's bloody amazing. I just think that it just shows his amazing skill. But I think to call him now the GOAT because of his longevity, his titles, his skill sets, and now him breaking this record. And also, I think he's number, is he number five or number four in assists? I think he's number four in blocks. Basically, he's top five in assists, top five in blocks as well. That that ain't enough, bro. Because I'm going to explain, explain it to you. You see, LeBron is the most talented basketball player of all time. Hands down. I don't think any player can play all positions as well as he, he, he can. Power forward, points guard, defense. So, so in terms of him being um, a... I mean, his defensive qualities, his blocking qualities... His points guard qualities, his assists, his passing, his football IQ, his vision, his scoring ability. So he can, he can hit you on the inside and on, and on the outside. Hints like Corey, who just a three points merchant. So he is literally the epitome of an all-round player that can do everything, but do everything at a very high level, you know. So, yeah, like, in terms of just talent, he is the greatest. In terms of talent, he's the best basketball player ever. I'm sorry, he's the most talented basketball player ever. But the reason why he ain't Jordan is, you have to understand that. And here's the thing. I think when we look at this greatest, I think, you know what it is? It's maybe it's down to criteria because some people's criteria is, well, if he's scored the most points and if he's been playing at a high level for such a long time, he's great. It's a similar thing that people use with like Messi. That, Wait, Messi, look at his longevity, how long he's been. He's, he's, he's won everything. Look at all the goals he scored, the records he had. He's the greatest. But the reason why I lean more towards Jordan is because of Jordan's impact on the game and what Jordan did for basketball because Jordan single-handedly globalized basketball. When you think of basketball, you think of Jordan. Jordan is the reason why basketball is known around the world. So, because you ask someone on the streets, not in America, you ask someone outside of America, just on the streets in some random place, what's the first thing you think of when I say basketball? They'll say Jordan. Based on just what Jordan was. How he played the game, his impact on the game, what he did in the game, and how he made people feel the way that he played the game. So that's why I just say Jordan is the GOAT. But I can understand people's arguments of LeBron. Now, when you compare with this guy, this is what guys have said. The moment Jordan won his first ring, he never allowed it to go to a game six. He never allowed it to be decided on a game six. So, so, <laughs> I don't know, I'm stupid. Sorry, he never allowed it to get to a game seven. He never allowed it to get to a game seven. It was always, six games, we're out. Six games, we're out. So for LeBron, he's had lots of losses, big time losses. Several games have gone into game seven. We all know about now six, now seven, now eight, now nine, now seven, now eleven. <laughs> you know, and we all know how that's formatted Miami Heat, where it was what, two out of four. But what Jordan has over. Sorry, what LeBron has over Jordan is he won on three teams. And not only did he win on three teams, which shows how he 
you know, because different players, different setup, can you tweak your game, which is why LeBron can because he's so talented. That Cavs win, I don't think... Could Jordan do what LeBron did with the Cavs? I know Kyrie got the key shot and so forth, but based on what he did and the carry job, because Jordan is amazing. Let's not sleep on Scottie Pippen. Let's not sleep on Dennis Rodman, because people can say, okay, Scottie Pippen, Kyrie. Don't tell me, wait, wait what, what's, what's the name of that white guy? I've forgotten his name from, I think he did come from the Timberwolves. Oh, what was his name? Damn it, someone remember me. The white guy from Cavs. That guy in Dennis, in Dennis Rodman, bro. So Dennis Rodman is bloody amazing. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, and also, Steve Kerr was a damn good shooter as well. <laughs> Steve Kerr was a damn good shooter, but Dennis Rodman and, basically, Rodman and Pippen are most, um, is a much better, is much better assists, is much better assistance than Kyrie and the white guy at, from the Cavs. So, um, yeah, man. No, no, no. So look, that. So that's where I'm at, bro. I'm ready to have this convo. Maybe I want to. Maybe I want to have it even like as a live discussion or something. But I'm still saying that Jordan is the goat. Jordan is the goat based on just what he did for basketball and his impact. Maybe I you know with with these kinds of things. If let's say you're of a certain age, maybe like, oh, you're an old man. So maybe it's a case of like living through that time, specifically through the the nineties and what he did to the nineties and just how the world reacts to what Jordan was doing and just see him, him on this rise and just the impact. Bro, I was a guy from Nigeria. <laughs> this was before I landed in, in Europe and so forth. This was just me as a guy in Nigeria. I felt the impact of Jordan in Nigeria. So that's my, my thing though. But I can get what when people say it's LeBron based on just what LeBron has done and the guy's long jersey and breaking this record is bloody amazing. Combined with everything he's done in the sport and just how talented he is. Tell me what you guys think.